Control of Lead här and we are sitting here with Jason Kingsley from Rebellion. And Rebellion is the guys that are producing Alien vs Predator. Uh, lots of blood and gore and scares as well. It's definitely not a game for children. This is a this is kind of a violent shooter. Uh, you can play all three characters. Uh, and uh, we're basing it largely on the Alien and Aliens movie and the Predator movie, which, as you all know, are 18 certificate titles. So this is definitely not a kid's game. If you think about it, we did the original on the Atari Jaguar back 17... 16 years ago, uh, so we've kind of been working on an Aliens and Predator game for that long, but this specific version has been in development for probably just over two and a half years now with a big team, so it's a, it is a massive game made all the more complicated by the fact that you can play as the Marine and as a Predator and as an Alien uh, in the same game world, uh, so it's sort of three species in one game. We're definitely looking at, at downloadable content. Yes, it's very exciting to do that. Obviously, our key thing is to finish this game and, and polish it as much as we can and make sure that the, uh, the fans love it and make sure that people that maybe have never played an Aliens vs. Predator game get to play it for the first time and get impressed. But yes, we'll be... Um, I'm very keen on DLC, uh, downloadable content, and uh, we're definitely going to be doing some. Exactly how much we do is kind of up to the, the marketplace, if you like. You know, if people love the game and want a particular thing, then we'll try and do more of that. But we're really keen on supporting the franchise and making sure that it's not just one game in a box and then forgotten about. You know, we want a big community out there. We, we're, we're quite used to this. For example, we did Sniper Elite. Yeah. And uh, we've, got a, we've maintained our own servers for that. When the publisher didn't want the servers anymore, we are paying for those servers to be kept going because we believe in the community. So hopefully we'll be coming back to Sniper Elite in due course as well, which will be very exciting. But getting back to Aliens vs. Predator, yes, DLC is going to be interesting. And hopefully we'll be able to canvas the opinion of the fans and say, do you want more multiplayer maps of what type? Do you want uh, new weapons or do you want new skins or, or, or what? And we can find that out uh, once this comes out. Me, right, that depends what mood I'm in. The easiest, if you like, the, the most obvious character is the Marine. Because you know, we all, we've played games where you're a soldier with a gun. That's fairly straightforward. Although in this case, uh, you've got the whole aspect of, uh, of aliens on the roof and the walls and coming out of holes and the predator hunting you and that's invisible. So it's kind of quite psychologically stressful. Uh, the Marine, if you like, the Marine story is the kind of main trunk of the game. And the predator and alien playable campaigns are... Um, they, they link into the marine story. Um, so I like playing the marine because it's familiar yet frightening. The predator's great. I really like the predator. I like sort of emulating those scenes in the first movie where the predator's in the in the treetops yeah. and you 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 know you can see down and the marines there and they're kind of all highlighted in their um they hit the, in the kind of predator heat vision. So that's really cool to play as the predator and to stalk around and then go in and chop them up and then run away again. Um, predators particularly good to play in multiplayer, uh, quite fun to play. Um, but then you've got, to, you've got to love the Alien as well because the Alien gameplay takes a little bit more thinking about because you don't have a ranged weapon. So you've got to use the darkness. You've got to use um, parts of the environment that you wouldn't normally think of using in the game. You've got to use the ceilings. You've got to use it. And that's quite difficult to, to get familiar with to begin with. So that's probably got the steepest learning curve of any of the characters. Let's say the Marine's the easiest, the Predator's next easiest, with all its jumping around, which you've hopefully seen. Um, but then the Alien, um, the Alien is Alien. He's got a wider angle of view. He moves incredibly fast. You can go wherever you like. You've got to close with the Marines and, and chop them up, bite them, bite their heads off. So I, I kind of have a soft spot for playing the Alien. We, we have our own uh, technology called the Azura technology and that's got very sophisticated lighting uh, methods in it. So all the lights in the game are destructible. So uh, in a lot of game engines that are available, uh, third party game engines, the, the lighting's kind of baked in. I mean, they're, they're great, but you couldn't do uh, what we're doing with this game with other people's engines without a huge amount of re-engineering. Um, so as a result of making our own technology, there isn't going to be that much difference between the, 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 the different versions. I mean, we're obviously, we've got specialists working on each format. 
Um, I guess the PC version is going to be the highest res, um, and we're 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 looking at uh, doing um, you know DX11 uh, version of the game that's been announced uh, for PC. So that'll take advantage of some of the really sophisticated DX11 stuff. Um, uh, but no, in in the grand scheme of things, they're they're they're, they're the same game. The versions are all the same. Aliens fighting predators dying. <laughs> as far as I know, the release date is the end of Feb, end of February next year. Uh, we are pretty much finishing the game off now. So we're kind of coming up to beta, we're doing polish, we're doing bug fixing, we're balancing the multiplayer, uh, which is brilliant fun. Uh, so, you know, that's all exciting. I think the exact release date you'd probably better get from Sega and it might shift and change but we'll be done before Christmas we'll be finished before Christmas then it goes off to the people who put it in boxes and manufacture it so we'll be done soon okay thanks Jason right, my pleasure thank you very much